So most of the time we'll be doing the homework, like doing the exercise on words, translations, noun and word, the sentence analysis, English and Pali, and the sentence translation. So we would like to encourage those uh, who so far have not uh, raised their hand before, or those who hardly raised their hand, those who only probably raised their hand one or two times, uh, to participate uh, in this uh, exercise. Okay, we'll start with the yeah, words translation. So over to Sister Elik, we'll see how, uh, how we shall yes. see how many participants interested to answer yes, the question. Yes, Brother Yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe perhaps we give uh, one Already. minute to look through the to look through the words, look through the nouns, and uh, and please raise your hand when you're ready. Okay, these words are, I'll give you a hint, uh, these words uh, can be found in lesson one to eight Pali Primer textbooks. Okay, we have a few volunteers here. Sister Tan Lei Ping, would you like to try? I think each one person answer two questions. Uh. Yeah. Okay, sure. Sister Tan Lei Ping, would you like to unmute yourself? Ah, okay. Good afternoon, uh, Brother Kao and uh, team. Uh, okay, the first word is uh, loka, which is world. Uh, the next word is a loka, which is light. Yeah, okay, good. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Okay, Brother Kao, next we have uh, Sister Xiao Kim. Okay. Good afternoon. Uh, the third word is uh, kudala means whole, and the fourth one is hunter. Okay, thank you, sister. Thank you. Next, <laughs> next we have uh, sister Lily. Number five, water, uh, pig, water, wanara, monkey. Yeah, good, thank you. Wara, wara, her, wara, her, and wanara. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Next, we have uh, Sister Gui Hua. Okay. Good, good afternoon. Number yeah, seven. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, suka is a parrot. Sukara. Sukara is a pig. Okay, thank you, Sister. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have uh, Sister Ngai. Number nine, Pana is leaf. Okay. And ten, Kina is grass. Grass, yeah, thank you. Okay, good. So we have a translate to English. Yeah. No, sorry, sorry, Pali. Okay. Okay, we have uh, Sister Doris. Yeah, uh, number one. Number one, Jared. Translate to Pali, is it? Yes. Jared is Rata. Rata. Kat is Sataka. Sataka, okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Sakata. Sakata. Okay, Sakata. Thank you, Sister Doris. Okay, we have another eight more. Eight more nouns. We have Sister Chai Hoon here. Sister Chai Hoon. Okay, uh, fish is matcha. Minister is a matcha. Matcha is it? Matcha, okay, short, like, as long as short, it's okay. Matcha or matcha. Also can. Yeah. Matcha. Okay. Okay. Matcha. Okay. Matcha. Okay. Next. Okay, next we have uh, Sister Poshwan. Fish is matcha. Mini uh, number five. Sorry. Oh, sorry, number five, sorry. Uh, sorry. Stone, pasana. Okay. Palace is pasada. 
Yeah, okay, good. Pasana and Pasada. Next. Okay, we have still have many many participants uh, haven't raised their hand. Okay, we have Sister Siu Yong for number seven and eight. Okay, number seven, Flores is Arana. Okay. Flower is Pupa. Pupa. So actually, uh, you read as, because the, you see there's uh, like a wave sound. So Aranya, N-Y, yeah. Oh, okay, Aranya. Aranya. Yeah. Then, yeah. Okay, thank, thank you. Yeah. Opa. Okay, next. Okay, thank you. Uh, we have uh, Brother Ui. Yeah, okay. Uh, water is Udaka. Yeah. And cloth is Wata. Okay. Udaka and Jala or Wata. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you, brother. Okay. Next exercise is. Uh, Translate to English. Yeah. Okay, for verb, uh, translate to English, we have Sister Suchita. Sister Suchita? Okay. Tarati? Crosses the water. Yeah. Ut Utarati gets up. Comes out. Okay, and the other one is saying comes out. Oh, comes out. Comes out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, sister. Uh, next, we have Sister Karuna. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, number three is Utarati, which is descends. Okay. Upper thirty is jump up or to fly. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So you notice tarati, utarati, they are quite close, ah. Huh? They have utarati. Yes. They have different meanings. Next. Anyone? Try your best. Brother Ka, we have Sister Possim. Sister Possim. Uh, Vivarati opens, Harati carries. Yeah, okay. Carries or takes away. Next. Thank you. Thank you, Sister. Uh, next, we have Sister Guihua. Uh, number one. Number seven. seven. Uh, Samharati collects. Collects, yeah. And eight wasati leaves. Leaves. Okay. Thank you. So, see, Harati is carries or takes away, but when you add the sang, right, add the sum here, it becomes collects. Huh? Just take note of that. Next. Last okay. One. For number nine and ten, we have uh, Sister Tri Hoon. Uh, yeah, good afternoon. Mm -hmm. uh, number nine, Jiwati means uh, in English is lives. Yes. And Viharati is dwells. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank and you. And dwells. All right, good. Thank you. So the next exercise is translate to Pali. Okay, we have uh, for verb to Pali, translate to Pali, we have, uh, sorry, I cannot guess your name, whether you're brother or sister, but it's Lu Chong Xuan. Hi, Lena, it's brother. Uh, okay, hi. Hi, brother Lu. Okay, I'll try. Uh, comes is uh, A Gachati yeah. and goes is uh, Gachati. Yeah, good. Right. Okay, so you can see the notice the difference. Uh, A Gachati and Gachati. Okay, next. It's like an opposite, lah, huh, brother Kao? Yes, yes. Yep. Next, we have uh, Sister Paduma. Okay. 
Nama budaya. Ah, ha, nama budaya. Washers is a dover tea. Yes. Dover tea. Yes. The uh-huh. one is a dover tea. Dover tea, yeah. So the difference of the O, O and the A, long A. Yeah. Dover tea and dover tea. Okay. Good. Thank you. Next. Thank you, sister. Next, we have sister Tamara. Carry away is Harati. Yeah. Brings is A Harati. Yeah, good. So Harati and A Harati. Okay, next. Number seven and eight, we have uh, sister Nai. Seven gives is da da ti, six is a da da ti. Yeah, okay. So it's da 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 ti, okay? Da da ti. A da da ti. Okay, a da da ti. One short, one long. Uh. First one is short, the other one is long. Okay. Da da ti. Okay. Da da ti. Hmm. All right, thanks. Thank you. Next. Okay, for last two, we have Sister Paul Swan. Ascends a ruhati, descend o ruhati or o tarati. Yeah, okay. So you can see uh, the, the, when, yeah, when it ascends, like when it go, comes up, uh, you go, ah, then ruhati, okay? When it comes down, o ruhati, okay? So there's a difference, All right? The authority uh, uh, give a sense is this sense, but usually this sense into the water. Lah. So you apply in the different uh, case, lah. okay? Different sentence application. Okay, thank you. So sentence analysis. Okay, for sentence analysis, we just need the participants to name the cases, whether it's nominative, accusative, locative, vocative. Uh, we, no need to translate, just give us the cases. Also the Any... gender and the either singular or plural. Yes. Okay, we have Sister Chai Hoon for number one. Uh, disciples, um, how to say? Disciples of the Buddha. So disciples is a nominative, masculine plural. Okay. Assemble, verb Of plural. the Buddha? Of the Buddha. Buddha you have a... um, I put there, uh, it should be genitive. Uh, masculine, genitive, singular. Okay, masculine, singular, is it genitive. Correct yes. or not? Yes. Correct, correct, correct. Correct. Uh, yes. Masculine. Um, genitive singular, okay. Then assemble verb plural in the park, uh, accusative neuter singular, okay. In the park, in the park, uh, date, dative, hey, no, 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 dative, uh, no, or is it locative? In the park, in, in the park, the park is locative. In. Ah, locative, locative. Locative, neuter, singular. Okay. Then uh, we play devotees, masculine, masculine, instrumental, plural. Plural, yeah, okay. So there's masculine, plural, nominative for disciples, masculine, singular, genitive of the Buddha, plural verb, right? In the park, it's locative, locative. Okay, similar. And uh, with lay devotees, rural instrumental, with, uh, with. Okay, good. Thank you. Next one. Thank you, sister. We have for number two, sister Gui Hua. Okay, number two are uh, the thief, uh, masculine, singular, nominative, gets down. Uh, singular verb uh, from the tree, uh, masculine singular ablative in the forest, neuter singular locative. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Okay, yeah. 
So next one. Okay, number third. Uh, number three, we have uh, sister sweeping. Uh, wicked man, nomen, uh, masculine nominative plural. Hit uh, verb, verb plural. The monkey, masculine accusative plural. On the tree, masculine locative plural. With stones, masculine instrumental plural. Yeah, okay, thank you. Good. So this sentence is a is a plural sentence uh, with all the plural case here. Okay, next number four. For question number four, we have uh, brother Meng. Thank you, brother Kang and sister Ili. Okay, what two? Um, okay, the doctors. Okay, the doctors is a uh, masculine uh, singular. Uh, uh, genitive. Okay. okay. Horse. The horse is a uh, nom uh, male nominative singular. Okay. Its is verb singular. Yeah. Grass is uh, okay. uh, grass is a neuter uh, accusative singular. Okay. If the ox is uh, instrumental uh, male. Singular okay. and on, yeah. on the road is uh, on the road is a male locative singular as well. Thank you. Okay, all right. So yeah. Okay, next. Okay, next we have uh, brother Ui. Yeah. Uh Jacker is nominative uh, masculine ruler. Okay. Leaf is a verb ruler. Okay. In forest is a locative neuter plural. Okay. Dog is masculine nominative plural. Okay. Leaf is a verb plural. Okay. A village is a accusative plural. No. Masculine. No. In village, in village are locative. Yes, locative oh. or masculine. Yeah? Rural, masculine. Yes. Uh, masculine, yes. Yeah. All right. Okay, number six. Okay, thank you, brother. Okay, for other participants who have not participated, I can give you a hint. The sentence itself is already highlighted with colors. So there are hints there to tell you what case this sentence. Uh, what case in, uh, the words are. <laughs> so, we highly encourage uh, participants that have not tried, give it a try. It's okay to make mistakes. We learn from mistakes also. Yes, Sister Pui Liu, would you like to try? Okay, thank you. Brahmins, um, male, nominative, plural. Okay. Yeah, sit is... Uh, Verb and plural. Okay. On the seats, neuter, locative, plural. Okay. In the house, in the house is male, locative, singular. Okay. Of the wise man is male, genitive, and uh, singular. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So for in the for in the house, uh, of course, uh, it depends on the Pali word that you use, lah. So there's also neuter word for house, uh. Seven. Number seven. Have we have sister Lei Ping? Uh, number number seven. Uh, the sailor is a male nominative singular. Okay. Opens is verb singular. Okay. The doors neuter accusative plural. Okay. Of his house neuter genitive singular. Okay. All right. Next. Okay. Thank you, Sister Lei Ping. Thank you. We have uh, question number eight. 
Okay, so number eight, we have Sister Shirley. Morning, brother and sister. I just try, yeah. Yes. Uh, the sailor, the, male, singular. Oh, the sun, number the eight. sun, number eight. Sun. Yeah. yeah. Uh, male, plural, nominative. Okay. Of fisherman, male, plural, genetic. Okay. Dance, uh, neuter. Oh, no. Dance is plural verb. With friends, male plural instrument in the park, neuter singular locative. Yeah, okay, thank you. Thank you, brother. Okay, number nine. Okay. Thank you, sister. We have sister Chai Hoon for number nine. Uh, number nine, the merchant masculine singular dominative puts verb singular fish. Masculine accusative plural um, or should we singular? Actually, fish, both singular. Can be, fish can be plural or singular. <laughs> can fish be both. Can be, be singular. Both. <laughs> can be both. Can be both. Oh, okay. can be both. Uh? Yes. In baskets, because in basket, then it should be plural, right? Uh, plural, then what, okay, what else? Then in baskets, masculine locative plural. Ah, my student of the pro. So here, here you can see it uh, depends on the verbs. Uh, so the word puts, you say puts in fish in basket. So this is in the locative case. Uh. Unlike the one you say carry the fish uh, in basket to somewhere, right? That one is uh, instrumental. Oh, okay. Thank yeah. you. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, next. Last one. Okay, next uh, number question nine, we have Sister Siu Yong. Ten now, ten. Oh, number ten, sorry. Sister Siu Yong. Okay, good afternoon. Eh? Yeah, the word uh, nominative masculine, masculine singular gets okay. uh, verb singular. Light is a masculine accusative singular. From the sun, masculine ablative singular. Uh. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So, okay. Now, analysis in the Pali sentences. Anyone? For question number one, we have Sister Paul Sim. Rukamha, um, masculine ablative singular. Okay. Panani, neuter accusative plural. Patanti, verb plural. If panani is accusative, then do we have a it's subject neuter, there? Uh, neuter accusative plural. If this is accusative, right, which means huh? this is the object, right, uh -huh. then where is the subject? There should be a subject in the sentence, right? The subject should be uh, this one. Or where is the um, nominative? Nominative. Oh, so this one should be oh, the okay. nominative lah. Uh, ah, the panani. The, so pa panani. Actually, oh yeah, it, it's a uh, uh, su subject. It should be subject. Live in in the in the ah uh, live on the tree. Uh, no, live from the tree. Live what from the tree? The fall leaves from the tree. Ah, fall, panani. fall. Okay, ah. fall from so, the tree. Ah, yeah. So panani is the subject. It should be, subject should be nominative. Yes. So ah. you see, uh, as uh, when it's come to neutral, right? Uh, neutral noun, right? The ani, the the ending ani can be nominative or accusative. 
Okay. Uh, yes. Ah, uh, then you have to look at it whether this is a subject or this is an object. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Next. Thank you, sister. We have uh, question number two, sister Serene. Uh, Vanija is not a male a masculine uh, nominative plural. Okay. Uh, Gamanha is masculine ablative singular. Yeah. Hiran Nagaran is uh, neuter accusative singular. You mean for both or for which one? For both. For both, okay. Haranti is verb. Pura. Pura. Yeah, okay. So, Kirang and Nagarang, Nagarang and uh, not. Like it's neuter, accusative, like singular. Okay. Yeah. So, this is a double, double accusative. Double yeah, object. Can have two as a accusative together, yes. right? Yes, double object. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sister. Number three, we have sister sweeping. Uh, Bupalo, masculine nominative singular. Okay. Pumarena, masculine instrumental singular. Okay. Uh, so, Pumarena Sadin, yeah. Yeah, okay, then uh, I can skip. Okay. Yeah. How do you pronounce that? You, you, yeah. U ya ne. U ya ne. U ya ne. Okay. U ya ne. Uh, neuter locative singular. Okay. Tarati verb singular. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Okay, next. Question four. Question four. We have Sister Guihua. Uh, number four. Uh, Kasako uh, masculine nominative singular. Okay. K tam hi neuter locative singular mm -hmm. kuda lena masculine instrumental singular mm -hmm. awate uh, masculine accusative plural mm -hmm. kanati verb plural yeah okay correct na uh, what plural what is it uh, singular <laughs> what singular? What singular? <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, next. Question number five, where Sister Amanda? Uh, thank you. Uh, Ma Tulu, male singular nominative. Okay. Utasa, male singular dative. Bandani. Neuter plural accusative. Okay. Radati verb singular. Yeah, okay. Thank you. So here, Potasa, the SSA, it can be either dative or genitive, but it depends on your translation, your interpretation. Okay, number six. Brother Kao, for, for this uh, declension, uh, is it better to use masculine instead of male? Mm, okay, <laughs> it's okay for me. Uh, but if we want to follow the norm, uh, so it's, it's best you use uh, masculine. Masculine. Uh, huh? Yeah, masculine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, number six, we have uh, Brother Ming. Yes, thank you, uh, brother and sister. Um, okay, upasaka, uh, male nominative plural. Okay. Sam, samana, samananang, male dative plural. Okay. Danang, neuter accusative singular. Okay. Dadanti, verb plural. Okay. Silani, neuter accusative plural. Okay. Rakanti, verb plural. Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah. Okay, next. Nice. 
Okay, number seven, we have Sister Chai Hoon. Sorry, actually, I want to ask a question. Yeah, okay. Brother Kao, number three, right? Number three, yeah. Uh, Bupalo Kumarina Sadin Uyani Charity. Okay. The Uyani, can we say it's an accusative? <laughs> It's a locative. Well, uh, you see, if we put accusative, it will uh, be what? Singular plural. This one become a plural. Plural. You know? So well, it depends on your interpretation. Where well, the king goes to many parts with the boy. But well, usually we say uh to to whatever is always accusative, right? Yeah, yeah, correct. Which, which now, sounds better? Which, 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 is, which is more uh maybe say how you say uh, maybe more reasonable or maybe logical uh, walk the two of them walk in the park or or uh, or the king walk to many parks with the with the so moon. now we are saying they are walking in the park. Uh. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. In the park. Uh. They walk okay. in the park. So in the park, then we are needs become locative. Uh. Okay. Locative. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh we are we now number seven. Number right? seven, yeah. Number seven. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, number seven, we have sister sweeping. Sorry, Brother Kao. Actually, I yes. want to ask question number six. Uh, okay. The Silani Rakanti. Yeah. Silani is nominative or accusative? Okay. Now, if this is a nominative, uh, how will you how will you put it? How will you translate it? Um, would you protect? Uh, would you protect what? Then if you look at the whole sentence, right? So you have already have a subject here, right? So it's giving arms to the monks, to right? The monks, yeah. Yeah. Then and also this usually like you will find that they always these two these two verbs always come together. See? One is the one is the arm, one is the one the danang, one the silani. Mm -hmm. So this is performed by the subject. So if, if you, you put this as a subject, as a selenium subject, uh, then you, where is the object? You see? Which is protect what is, it becomes, uh, uh, there's no object here. Mm. Correct? Mm. Okay. Uh, usually the danang and the silani performed by the subject. Mm. Okay, so this one is an acquisitive. Mm. Sounds logical? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Seven. Sister Chai Hoon, uh, do you okay. have any questions? All right. No, no. Uh, I can answer the question. <laughs> okay. <Good. laughs> okay. Um, Daraka dominative sing, uh, dominative plural masculine. Nominative. Uh. Don't, don't try to dominate. Uh. I think I heard dominative. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Nominative. <laughs> yes. Nominative plural masculine. Mitehi yes. instrumental plural masculine. masculine. Yeah. Udakasmin neuter locative singular. Okay. Kilanti verb plural. Okay, all right. Thanks. Thank you, Sister Chai Hoon. Uh, next, we have Brother Ui for question number eight. Brother Ui, is it? Yeah, Brother Ui. Would you like to unmute? Sorry, sorry, forgot. Okay. 
Okay, Kasaka masculine, nominative plural. Okay. Wani Jet He, masculine, instrumental plural. Watani, neuter, accusative plural. Okay. Labanti, verb plural. Okay, can you try to uh, translate this sentence? Wani Jehi. Uh, the, the, the whole sentence? Can you try to translate this sentence into English? Okay, okay. I didn't check, I didn't check the, the meaning. Because you're saying Wani J is instrument, right? Instrumental. Yes. Uh -huh. So then you, you try to uh, convert, translate into English. So, okay, let, let, let's do it one by one. Kasuka is the what's Kasuka? Kasuka. The one, the person that plows. Farmers. Oh, farmers. Farmers, okay. yes. Okay, farmers. So, Wani Jehi, the base word is? Merchant, is it? Well, merchant, yes, correct. Okay, uh, so you say instrument, right? Instrumental. So, it will be either by, with, or, or, or through. True. Yeah. Through merchants, oh, okay. Yeah, what yeah. Watani? Watani is Watani is a uh, cloth, 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 uh, cloth, yeah. plural, yeah. okay. Right. Labanti, Lab 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 uh, Labanti is plural, so the singular is Labati. So, what's yeah. Labati? Labati means get, gets, okay? So yes. labanti is a plural word, get, okay? Or obtain, right? Either obtain or get or receive. So now you, you, you try to make up the uh, sentence. Okay, farmer Farmers, gets. right? Ah, farmers, cloth then from. get, right? Get cloth. Get cloth. From. From merchant. Ah, so farmers get clothes from merchant. merchant right. So from is it instrumental? Or oh, ablative. Ablative. Okay. okay. So if okay. instrumental, okay. probably it doesn't uh, make sense, lah, right? All right. Get okay. Clothes, okay. 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 Get clothes with merchant. Okay. 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 Ah, so it's uh, ablative. All right. Okay. Okay. okay thank you. Yeah. Because a he can be brother called a he can be instrumental, instrumental or ablative, ablative right? Yeah. yeah. Then you have to look at the sentence. Yeah. So maybe to translate in English, then it will make more sense, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Because there, there, there's a choice here, you see. There's an option here. Either you have to choose the ablative or instrumental. Correct. So then you have to look at the sentence. Mm -hmm. They make. It. Okay. Question Thank number you. nine. Yeah. Question number nine. We have sister Poswan. Radhika, I'm not sure, but I would like to try. Yeah, okay. Kumaro, nominative singular. Yeah. Uyanamha, neuter, ablative singular. Okay. Matulasa, genitive singular. Okay. Masculine. Yeah. Kusumani, okay. neuter. Accusative plural. Okay. Baharati verb singular. Yeah, okay. Now you uh you try to 
construct the sentence. Can you? In English? Yes. A boy, boy. brings yes. uncle's flowers from the park. From the park, yeah. So, uh, grammatically, it's correct. Okay, but that's another option. Lah. That's another choice. Okay. Because the SSA can be genitive or, or what? Dative. 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 Yes. If you use dative, then you try to, to you try to, to construct the sentence. The, the boy, boy brings flowers from the park to uncles. Ah, either to uncle brings brings oh, flowers brings for flowers uncle or to uncle, uncle from, from the, the park. park. Oh, okay. okay. Then, you, then you decide lah, which one is sounds better. Lah. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, number 10. Number 10, we have uh, Sister Guihua. Okay. Uh, Brahmanasa, uh, masculine, genitive, singular, yeah. aja, masculine, nominative, plural, gonihi, masculine, instrumental, plural, okay. saha, okay. No, awani, neuter, locative, singular, hindanti, verb, plural, tinani, neuter, accusative, plural, kadanti, verb, plural. Yeah, okay. Just now your one you are saying it is a? One A, uh, neuter, locative, singular. Okay. Yeah, it's a locative. Uh, yeah, okay. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. All right, okay, so we finish our sentence analysis. So we go to the next one. Brother Kao, sorry. Yeah. I want to ask a question. Yeah. Um, number 10, right? You say yes. Tinani Kadanti. I mean, yeah. the, the word is given to us. Uh, if we say, if we were to translate, let's say we are English. In uh, given English word, then we say tinani bujanti is it correct or must be kadanti. The it must be kadanti, but it class means kadanti. Bujanti means it rises, or oh, doesn't matter. Or oh, the kadanti and the bujanti is a synonym, sir. So it can be used tinani bujanti also, la. Can 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 can. It's not like uh, Bujanti used to eat rice, then Kadanti eat grass, no la. Actually, uh, I think in a deeper sense, uh, because there, there is a, a slight difference uh, between Kadanti, uh, Kadanti and Bujanti. One is referred to a soft food, one refer to the hard food. Uh, I can't remember which one refer, refer to the... Uh, let me, you give me just a minute now. Let me see. One is a soft foot. You see, cardenia, cardenia. Cardenia. Okay, if it's cardenia, it's a, as a noun, uh, it's referred to the hot foot. So, bunjania bun, will be the soft food so there's a difference uh, slight difference uh. but at, at our this level we just take it uh, both also means it so. okay all right thank you yeah okay sister serene do you have a questions to ask uh, oh, yeah brother Carl. yes so the so this number 10 uh, the in english translation is it brahmins goats eat grass yes wander in forest with Oxen. If you follow, because there's a comma here. So the first thing he do is the Brahmins, the Brahmins goats uh, wander in the forest with the oxen and then eat grass. Oh, okay. So uh, what do you mean follow the... the? I mean, it started with here, right? The first thing is Brahmanasa, Aja, Gonehi, Saha, Wane, Ahindati, then comma. Uh, uh, uh. So, so the first the, thing they do is they, they wonder 
together with the oxen, right? Wander together with oxen first. Then probably next day, it crash together. Oh, okay. Follow the order. Ah, follow the order. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. So, the goat wander in the forest with oxen, comma, yeah. eat grass. Yes, because there, there, there is two actions here, see? Two words here. One is the danti, and the other one is kadanti. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. So, so don't know which one goes that. first. Huh? So from here, you can see that with a comma. So the one is the ahidenti comes first. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Ah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, okay. Okay, sentence translation. Any volunteers who would like to try out? Sister Serene? Sister Serene, would you like to unmute? Oh, sorry, forgot. Lion sits in forest at the foot of a tree. Oh, okay. But usually, of course, the lion uh, sits at the foot of the tree first, lah, oh, in the forest. <laughs> it's not sitting in the forest at the foot of the tree. But contextually, same. Lah, okay? Context meaning is the same. Uh, because the I follow the order. Ma. Wait, wait. Follow. Of course, the, the tree is in the forest. Lah. Uh. Uh -huh. Can, can. Okay. It, 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 it's all right. Grammatically correct. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. But usually the uh, the the when you see the verbs are what comes before the verbs are uh, you follow that one, right? Meaning rukam mule uh, come, come right, first, yeah, uh, come first uh, because of this. Yeah, because it's, it's the one that after that it will be the verbs. Really. Uh, just now, right? The the question number ten. Yeah. Because of the comma, right? Yeah. You move that. Uh, okay, I get it. Ah uh, yes, that's a uh, comma. Because of the comma, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I got it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Next. Brother Carl. Yes. Yeah, we have one uh, quick questions uh, in the chat box. Uh, Sister yeah. Bexwan asks, realize that the words ending with T-I is a word. Yeah, for for here la, but uh, there there word like sati, you see sati, it's not a word, right? Hoti, ah hoti is a word, hoti is a word, but sati sati yeah, sati sambo jango sati is not the word, you see. So it depends. Okay, next. Okay, next we have uh, question number two, Sister Chai Hoon. Rajaka Udakena Asanani Lovanti. The washerman wash the seeds with water. Yeah, okay. Next. Thank you, Sister. Number three, we have Sister Lei Ping. Thank you. Number three is Amacho Dutina Sadin Ratina Aranang Pavisati. Minister enters the forest by chariot with messenger. With the messenger, okay. Right. Thank you. Next. Thank you, sister. Next, we have Sister Sweeping for number four. Yachakasa Kuto Udakena Anani Dowati. The beggar's son washes the leaves with water. Okay. Okay, next. Thank you. Thank you, sister. Next, we have uh, sister Ngai. 
number five, one. Dani Nagarangharjun Sorry, can't hear you. Mochun Mochun brings waste from the city to the village. So Padani Shri translate as goods are huh? it's a bit different here. The, the, the accusative put in front of here. Okay. So the merchants, the merchants bring goods from the city to the village. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sister. Next question six, we have sister Gui Hua. Number six, Tata uh, Gatasa Sawaka Asapurisanang Ute Anusasanti. Um, Brother Kao, Anusasanti, can we use either one of the ammonish instruct and advice? Either one is it? Advice is over the tea, right? But instruct anu santi can be instructs and admonish, yes. Uh, three of them can be used, like, is it? What is the other, the other third word? Advice. Uh? Monish, instruct, advice. Advice usually is the awadati. Awadati, yeah. So, uh, yeah. okay. Two, because uh. the, this one written advice. Then my, uh, okay. Buddha's disciples admonished admonish the wicked man's sons. Ah, okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next. Thank you, sister. Next, we have brother Ui for question number seven. Okay, I'll try it this time. Hopefully okay. it's correct. Uh, lay devotees, Upasaka, yeah. lay devotees, devotee, Sprinkle flowers with water. Yeah, good, correct. Thank you. Thank you. Next. Thank you, brother. Next, we have uh, Sister Woon or Brother Woon. Okay, Sister. Sister, sister Woon, sorry. The boy, uh, the, the boy breaks. Bowl, Uncle School. Uncle School, yeah, okay, correct. Next. Two more. Two more, yeah. We have Sister Serene for question number nine. Sister Serene. Uh, Hunter's son touches the body of the deer with hand. Thank you. Last one. Any volunteers for question number 10? Uh, Sister Posse, would you like to try Sister Posse? Yeah, uh, the ox gets up from the rock in the field. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. Uh, I think uh, because we have not much time left, the, the next exercise, I think we leave to next week. Okay, the, the final class. So I hope that uh, you try to get some answers for, for the questions, okay? Try your best. And then uh, for the remaining time, I think we shall go through the uh, reading, uh, probably a reading class uh, for the Mangala Sutta. 
Okay, Mangala Sutta. That is for our final class. Lah. So for this course, we, we end until uh, lesson eight, right? Uh, I hope you all, uh, you all have some break, right? Uh, during the period, maybe I hope that uh, you can go through the revision and revise all the lessons uh, from one to eight. Okay? Because from lesson nine onwards, it will be on the conjugation <laughs> of the verbs, uh, no more on the nouns. So I, I would like to see your view some uh, foundation uh, in the uh, declensions of nouns. Okay. So any questions? Uh, Brother Kao. Yes. Uh, just want to ask, uh, let's say we um, try to do some reading on our own. Uh, yes. Uh, since now we have uh, touched on the masculine ending in A. Yes. And neuter and some of the verbs. Yes. So let's say if we want to proceed further on our own. Yeah. Uh, what would you advise us to do next? Uh? Do we should we go to the other noun like the feminine or the masculine ending with the other vowel, or should we? Because I saw there's a lot of like there's yes, pronoun yes. and all the other things. Yeah, there. right. So how how what actually what is the next one that we, we can continue on? I think we, we look at it this way. If we continue continue with other nouns, right? We continue with other nouns, then uh it will be difficult for you all to do the exercises. All the questions oh. are because it's it's follow the book, right? It's in that order. So mm -hmm. if you do the, the clench, uh the uh you may read up on the on the feminine nouns or, or, or neutral nouns ending with I or U, right? But then uh -huh. uh, you we won't be able to, to do the exercise because uh you you are not you, you are not exposed to the words like the uh -huh. like the uh absolutives, the uh, past participle, right, the future tense, past tense, all this. So you, uh -huh. have, you haven't go through this, then it's, you are, it's, it'll be difficult for you to do the exercise if you read on that chapter on the, on the family nouns. Oh. No, that, that, that's a, that's a, uh, that's a some, some sort of maybe consider it's an issue, like problem yeah. that, you may, you, that you may face. Of course, oh, it would okay. be nice like, if, you could, if you could do all the... Uh, all the declensions of the feminine noun and the masculine nouns, right? And then mm. I, and then you, all these things. But uh, we don't have uh, exercise, don't have the question to do, you see? Mm, mm, mm. Uh. So, so what, what would you suggest? Should we? I think uh, we, just, we just follow the book, la, in the, follow the book order, you see, the, the, the index, la. just follow mm -hmm. through it. Long. Otherwise, uh, I don't know how we would set the question to you, is it? Oh, okay. So you, you mean the Lady the Silver books? Uh? Yes, yes, yes. You follow that order? Cur currently, currently, you follow that book. Mm -hmm. Currently, you follow that book. You just go through it. Then might, we will do it slowly, right? Mm -hmm. I, I know it's not that easy, but we, we do, do it slowly. But at least uh, we expose ourselves to all the nouns, to all the, all the words. Uh. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, the next the the, the next course uh, will be concentrate on the words, you see, most of the time. Brother Kao, the next one will be when uh, two weeks later. Uh according to Bante, uh, after the next final class next week, then we have a two weeks break, uh, right? That is I, I get the understanding understanding from Bante. Lah. So when he starts his class, then I will start my class also. How 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 Many weeks he will do for the next session. No, no idea. Also, lah. I have no idea. Uh, he didn't mention that. Maybe you, you all can ask him. <laughs> uh, you all can ask him. How how oh, many classes okay. will we conduct for the for the part two? This is part one, right? The part two. Uh, you, you all can ask him. Because I see the Bali primer book is a lot, a lot. I think we still got a yes, lot more to it, learn from you. It, 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 it takes time. I think sometimes, it takes one really. whole year or more than a year to finish. Uh, I think thing. usually it'll be more than a year la, because you have uh, 32 lessons. Uh, you have 32 lessons. And then 
I foresee difficulty in the in the works part, you see the conjugation of the works part. So uh, one session may not be enough to, sufficient to cover that uh, that uh, one lesson, you see. If you if you're still not able to grasp the meaning, right? The application of it, then maybe we'll we'll stretch into two like two sessions. See how it goes, right? Or, or see how 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 the participants are whether they can grasp it or not. So if we finish the homework, we should be able to interpret the sutta by ourselves. Ah? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I, I still can't interpret the sutta oh, okay. myself. <laughs> I can't interpret the sutta myself, the grammar part. Ah. <laughs> still, I'm not that level yet. <laughs> I'm not that level yet. I was also not that level. Okay. But, but let's see, you know what Bante is saying. Lah, <laughs> right? <laughs> No, actually cannot understand. That's why most of the time don't really catch. Uh, you already mentioned, ma. So when you read on participle, you do exercise of uh, past participle. Then most of the time in the sutta, a lot of the words comes from past participle. So at least you know, oh, what is past participle? You know at least something about past participle, lah, right? Um. Brother Kao, can, yes. can I go back to question number five? Vanija Bandani. Nagaramha gamang the gamang word can ah. it, it is locative or accusative? Gamang is locative. Locative, right? huh? Oh, sorry, gamang is accusative, singular. Oh. Gami is locative. Oh, so in this case, in this sentence, it is accusative, yeah. Huh? What's the let me see, yeah. Vanija bandani nagaramha gamang. Translate to. Hold on, hold on. Translation number three. five. Number huh? five. Number Translate five. To... Okay. Translate to. Translation to English. Oh, okay. Yeah, gamang. Yeah, to the village. Yes, is accusative. Oh, all right. Thank you, brother Kao. Yeah, because you have the ablative, then accusative, uh, ablative from, right? Then two will be in the accusative. Brakao. Yeah. Okay, put him here. Brakao, once in uh, Bante's class, yes. and then, then I asked about the syllable counting so that you can pronounce better. Then you said that you have taught in this class, which I could have missed it. Not counting the syllables, how many syllables are there? No lah. I, I, I didn't. Eh. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I don't that. recall we learned the. Yeah, no, 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 we didn't. Yes, but you said we did. Eh. No, I'm talking about the uh, the short and long vowels only. Oh, no, no. Uh, okay, the syllable counting. Would you like to consider being part of uh, our syllable? Uh, okay, it's a, it's a very short one. Okay, you sh okay. although it's, they are not, uh, they are not uh, exactly the same, right? So the, the, the counting, the part actually, yeah. Uh, you you you, uh, you call it the, the light and the heavy is it light and heavy so generally generally the short vowel a e u right a e u consider as light right and the heavy one is those with the uh, uh, long vowels heavy is the one those with long vowels so a e u a O, this is the long vowels, right? But there is a, uh, there is a, a, a another rule such that when the short vowel combined with the, it, it, the syllabus have a consonant, consonant, right? And the consonant after it, the vowels are, after the short vowel, after the short vowel, there is a consonant, right? So you will consider as Heavy. This is the this is the, the, the additional rule. So for example, let's say you use the word M E T A, right? May you may pronounce it at may uh, not M E. Uh let's see what words we can use. Uh, uh you have to hit a short vowel. Uh, so short vowel. Uh Okay, partner. Let's say partner. If you pronounce the partner, P-A-N-A, right? P-A-N-A, partner. This is a 
light and light, right? Because they're light, light. What? So light one is, the counting is one, right? The heavy counting is two. So you have the light, pana, okay? Didanko, pana, bikkawe, pana, okay? But if you have, put in the end, like the word, the leaf, uh, pana, pana. So you have the consonant there for the syllabus. So pan will be considered as heavy. This is the general understanding. Uh. Pan, na, so it will be heavy and light. But pan, na, in the, let's say plural, right? Pan, na, uh, that one will be heavy, heavy. Is it clear? Okay, thank you, bro. This is the general rule. The first one, right? The first rule is it follows the, the, the short and the long vowel, okay? Short vowel is uh, considered as light. The, the, the long vowel is considered as heavy. But the third rule is the short vowel accompanied by the uh, consonant, with one consonant, that is considered as heavy. Okay? That's a, that's a, that's a general understanding. Okay, thank you. Okay. Think, okay. Kao, if there's no more questions, uh, would you like to do um, transference of merits? Yeah, okay. Any more questions from the floor? Uh, Brother Kao, yes. just want to ask, just now you give that example, the heavy and the light. Yeah. And the Deva is one of the example, right? Okay, they, okay. if a uh, singular one deity, right? They were or they were short one, uh. they is uh, long, right? So it'd be heavy. But the word, if were sing in singular, right, is light. But you said many deities, right? They were, they were, they were, were is a long. So it's a be heavy. They were, right? They were light. The, the word is light. But they were, okay, is long. But we, when we pronounce they, the D, E, because E, there's a consonant after that. So the E should be long, right? When we pronounce. The E they, originally is long. They, D, E, ma, D, E, right? D, E uh, is they. They, they E is a, is a long by itself. The E, uh, the uh, long vowels are A, E, U, A. A means the E, la, A and O. That's a long, long vowels. Okay. Oh. okay. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. So we just share merits. Uh. I can't share screen. Uh. Uh, okay. Yeah. So just compose your mind. Akasata Chabumata Devanaka Mahidika Punyang Tang and Muditwa Chirang Rakan to Sasanang Chirang Rakan to Desanang Chirang Rakan to Mangparang Ti Idang Menya Tinang Ho to Sukita Hon to Nyatayo Idang Menya Tinang Ho to Sukita Hon to Nyatayo Idang Menya Tinang Ho to Sukita Hon to Nyatayo Sadu Sadu Sad. Over to you, Sister Lin. Thank you, Brother Kao. Okay, before we end the session, let us uh, put our palms together and uh, pay respect to the Triple Gem. Budang Puja Mi Dhammang Puja Mi Sangang Puja Mi Sadu, sadu, sadu. Thank you, brother Carl. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Thank you, brother Carl. Thank you.